It's Saturday, November 8th, 2025. Thank you for being here. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. A big time cold front sweeping through parts of the U.S. now. That is going to dive down and even clip by the Northern Caribbean. I want to show you that the cold air for many of us uh, that is going to work in. Not so much for a lot of us across the uh, Caribbean, but I want to show you a change in some of the temperatures plus some big areas of rain. Now, I do want to touch on this first. There were a couple notable earthquakes yesterday. One just off the coast of a Guadalupe 4.9 in magnitude. You may have felt it, maybe not. A little bit more off toward the east. There was another one over toward the Baja, 5.6 in magnitude. So keep an eye on this. And if you are subscribed, you'll get the notifications because if there's anything like this or anything substantial uh, that I see throughout the day, I'll put out additional videos. If you're subscribed, you'll get those notifications. But again, just a couple notable earthquakes that I'm keeping an eye on. Nothing super crazy, but know that I'm monitoring that as well, covering a lot uh, behind the uh, scenes. Now, watch the cold air. This is by the time we get into Tuesday morning. By Tuesday morning, that cold air is going to plunge. Take a look at uh, Mexico. Mexico City, for example, four to about seven degrees Celsius as we work our way into Tuesday morning. And look at the numbers Fahrenheit, 20s dipping down into parts of the uh, Carolinas, even northern Georgia, 30s along parts of the uh, Gulf Coast of Florida, back toward Louisiana. It is going to be cold by the time we get into Tuesday morning. And that will start to clip by the northern Caribbean. Let me show you a change in some of the high temperatures uh, that we're going to see in some spots. This kind of gives you a sample. It's not a huge change, but for some of us, it will be a noticeable change. Let's get into Belize, for example. Uh, today, we're gonna be running at about 30 degrees Celsius. By Tuesday, for a high, about 26 degrees Celsius or 79 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So taking the edge off some of the heat, some autumn air, if you will, trying to squeak into a few spots. Cayman Islands will be around 30 degrees Celsius today. 27 by Tuesday. So going from some mid 80s Fahrenheit to about 80 degrees, uh, it will be a change that will be moving our way. And then we swing back toward, uh, we'll get over toward the uh, east a bit, mainly the northern Bahamas. That's where we're going to see a bigger change. We're talking about a 28 degrees Celsius down to 21. Uh, so we'll be right into the upper 60s, low 70s for highs in the northern sections of the Bahamas. It is going to be chilly back through the Florida Keys, sweeping through much of the Bahamas, clipping by Cuba as well. And I mentioned the uh, Cayman Islands. Doesn't nudge too far south of that. We're not going to see a big change. Haiti, Jamaica, that front just hanging to the north. But with that, we are going to see uh, big areas of rain. I'll keep an eye on a very slight chance of tropical development. I'm not seeing a whole lot, but in this sector here, I want to show you in a moment how the rain builds up. And then we've been seeing the rain building up from overnight as expected. We had some rain, parts of Trinidad and Tobago yesterday. You see how it's kind of spotting and broken, but Dominica, Martinique, St. Lucia, better chance of getting some rain today. St. Vincent, the Grenadines, and Barbados, we've had some of the rain around, and we'll see that again back through Grenada and south, even northeastern sections of Venezuela, that chance of some of the rain. So keeping an eye on this moisture, as expected, working across, and you see it right there. There's the additional rain as we go throughout the day today. Keep me posted. Uh, let me know your location if you're getting rain or not getting any rain, and then watch Watching over here as it's amazing how the weather's tied together. We've got a front coming out of Canada and the U.S. and I'll, I'll show you that in a moment. But as that starts to drop, that's going to help feed in more moisture in the Caribbean, kind of uh, pull it to the north. By tomorrow, spotty showers possible anywhere from Trinidad back through the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico. And then as we work our way into the upcoming working week, you see that chance of rain really building in here. Now, all of the models are showing the buildup of rain. So watching Belize, south through Panama, here comes the front, and that will bring in that colder weather for the Bahamas, clipping by Cuba, the Cayman Islands, back through Mexico and Belize. Uh, but as this front drives in, it helps to draw up more moisture. And you see here, keeping a very close eye on Jamaica to see how close some of this rain will get. As we work our way into Tuesday, heaviest rain should be just to the south. But I'm going to watch it as this front moves through the Bahamas, even clipping by a Haiti, the colder weather, as I mentioned, especially by the time we get into Tuesday, uh, works in over toward the Bahamas and parts of Cuba. But that rain really builds in here, and there's a very slight chance of a tropical development, uh, say in the extreme southwestern Caribbean uh, near Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama. Sometimes the models hint at that. I'm not seeing anything crazy at this point. My initial concern will be if we get a lot of rain in here, the flooding, and of course, seeing if we have any of this rain 
closer to parts of Cuba, Jamaica, and Haiti, just monitoring that, uh, of course, in the wake of Melissa. So we don't need any big surge of rain. So keeping a very close eye on this, we're going to cover that in depth further in upcoming videos. Now we swing to the north and measure how that weather is tied together. One front clipping by uh, from Bermuda toward the Atlantic region of Canada, but it is this. This is the spot that kind of reinforces and shoots down some colder air. Watch how this develops right through here, through the Great Lakes, pulling back toward the mid-Atlantic and the uh, Northeast US. Here comes that front. This is the front. This is tomorrow that allows that surge of colder air. Lake effect snow, look at that snow, that white shading you're seeing on your map back toward the Great Lakes, but look how this front dives all the way down. This is Monday, watching over toward the Maritimes, watching New England, diving all the way down right here. Florida, back through the northern Bahamas, clipping Cuba. This is the front, so that colder air moves in. We'll see that across Mexico as well. That's what I was mentioning, some of the cold air at night that will be moving in. And then as we work our way into Tuesday, that front presses by Bermuda, it will be chillier for sure. Look at that rain moving back anywhere from New Brunswick and then swinging back toward uh, Newfoundland, watching uh, Nova Scotia uh, and uh, seeing some of that rain, Prince Edward Island. Then you see that front, just this green line in here. That's some of the rain with it. You see how far south that front dives by. So clipping by the uh, Northern Caribbean with, for some of us, a welcome change in some of the temperatures, just kind of taking the edge off some of the heat. And you see it here with the winds. Now th this, this map I like because you could really see what the front does. Now let's go out in time here. This is tomorrow into Monday. We're stopping it here as we work around to Monday, the arrows, I know they're a little bit small, but shooting out of the north right across the Gulf through Mexico, shooting out of the uh, northwest, coming across the southeast U.S., that's the colder air with it, the change in direction in the winds, and it's a big one, and that allows that colder weather to move in. Look at those winds. It will be windy. I want to show you the seas in a moment, how this really uh, builds the uh, seas, and you can see those winds coming out of the north and northeast, back through the uh, Cayman Islands, close to Jamaica, but more so Cuba, Cayman Islands, swinging back toward Belize, Guatemala, a little bit of a drop in temperatures as well. And you could see it here with the seas. This time of year with big fronts moving in, the seas really build. They're, go they're going to get rough in spots. And look how it's from the Atlantic back through the Gulf and the Caribbean. This is today. We're going to have that chop over toward the Atlantic passageways and through the Caribbean. As some of that rain is on the move, some of that rain will be building. But right here, this is Monday. As that front moves in, Atlantic water swinging back through the Gulf over toward uh, the uh, Bay and then back toward the Caribbean rougher seas because of the front heads up Monday into Tuesday. Very rough in spots, especially more on the Atlantic side as we work our way into Tuesday. So giving you a heads up if you have any interest at all on the uh, waters. Now, as we look at the rain the next three days, this takes us through Monday. Nothing too big uh, for the uh, most part through here. It's those pockets of rain we'll be watching. Could see a little bit of an uptick. I mentioned some of that rain that'll squeak by uh, Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic may clip us by the US and British Virgin Islands hit or miss as we work our way toward Anguilla, St. Martin, St. Barts. But some of these pockets could give us uh, 50 to 75 millimeters of rain, maybe a little bit more in a few pockets, especially Dominica South through Trinidad and Tobago, where we'll have some spots 50 to about 75 millimeters of some rain just as that moisture pulls in. That's what I was showing you. And that's the same for northeastern uh, Venezuela, uh, northern Guyana, northern Suriname, closer to the water, a better chance of rain. But this is that pocket we'll be watching near Costa Rica, Panama, Nicaragua, even Honduras. Providencia, San Andres, uh, some more rain watching Belize. This is going to kind of surge to the north, and we'll keep an eye on the Cayman Islands and Jamaica. Uh, more of it should be just to the south, but we're going to watch to see how that kind of evolves as we go over the next few days. Mexico City to the north, mainly drying again. This is where that colder weather is. Texas, uh, Texas, there's going to be a shot of some colder weather, especially feeling that difference at night and in the early morning hours, and then seeing some of that additional rain of anywhere from about 25 to 75 millimeters of rain, or one to three inches of rain rain, parts of the Atlantic region of Canada could get an inch or two over toward uh, New England, back through parts of the mid-Atlantic and Midwest, and again, that lake effect snow back behind it. So Jamaica, our rain chance 30% today, We'll be up to about a 50% chance on Monday. I'll be uh, in Jamaica and going uh, throughout as many locations in Jamaica as I can rather soon. I just need to make sure covering this uh, weather for us. Uh, but I will be seeing my friends in Jamaica ever so soon. Cayman Islands, 20% chance of rain today. It does bump up on Monday. We'll be monitoring that moisture just toward the uh, south and west. 50% chance of some of that rain today for us in Trinidad and Tobago. Rain on the move, a 60% chance. Barbados, you see that higher chance, a 60% chance. St. Lucia. 
this is not all day stuff, but the rain chance higher today in Grenada, then it gradually drops off. We'll do that again as we swing back towards St. Vincent the Grenadines. We've already had some rain around uh, yesterday at times, last night, and this morning. Martinique rain chance 70% today and a 70% chance in Dominica today, down to a 40% chance uh, tomorrow. Scattered showers possible in Guadeloupe today. We're looking at about a 50% chance. 30% chance in Antigua, Barbuda isolated showers possible, but we'll get a few passing ones at least nearby. St. Kitts and Nevis, Montserrat, Anguilla, and St. Bart's. Rain chance about 30% for today. St. Martin, St. Vestatia, uh, isolated, but a little uptick in some of that rain tomorrow in Puerto Rico. That's why I mentioned Puerto Rico and the U.S. and British Virgin Islands. Rain chance a little higher today. A few of the islands of the Virgin Islands may get some uh, rain, even some brief downpours for tomorrow. Bahamas, watching those fronts passing by. Temperatures will be the uh, big story as we go over the next uh, few days. Turks and Caicos, rain chance at 30%. 50% chance by tomorrow in the Dominican Republic as some of that moisture moves closer. 30 to 40% chance over the next couple of days. Watch my friends throughout uh, Haiti, Belize. You see how that rain chance is going up. Not only a drop in temperatures with the front moving in, watching the moisture to the south, so keeping a very close eye in Belize. Rain chance in Aruba, we're going to hold at about 30%. A 40% chance today and even tonight. There may be a couple showers tonight. Curacao and Bonaire, northern sections of Guyana, northern sections of Suriname, that's where that rain chance will be a little higher over the next uh, few. 30% chance of rain in Cuba today builds a bit as we work our way into next week. Keep it an eye on Costa Rica and Panama, 60 to 70% chance of some rain. We'll see that surge of rain near the southwestern Caribbean. I'll monitor for any signs of development close to Nicaragua. Either way, that rain chance tomorrow and Monday up to a 70% chance. Honduras as I mentioned, it is going to be building. We'll be watching that carefully as we get into the uh, week ahead. Guatemala, 40% chance of rain. Same thing in uh, El Salvador. And a, an eventual drop in some of the temperatures by tomorrow night and early in the upcoming week. Same thing in Mexico City with that front nearby. 20% chance of a shower. Yucatan Peninsula. We're getting that drop in temps. We've got a couple chillier nights on the way. Merida, Campeche, Cancun, Cozumel, especially uh, early in the upcoming week. 50 to 60% chance of rain, northern Colombia. 50 to 60% chance, northern Venezuela, Bermuda, with these fronts moving by. At times, we get the batches of rain, the high seas, and even some of the gusty winds. So, a big autumn front diving down, getting closer. A temperature drop for some of us in the northern Caribbean. That rain building in the western Caribbean, I'll watch that monitoring the flood threat without in any signs of development. If I see that area trying to spin up or anything like that, I'll of course let you know right away. I hope you're doing well. I'll be going through the comments, hearing from our, our friends uh, in parts of uh, Cuba, uh, the Bahamas that were impacted by uh, Melissa, Haiti, and then of course the Dominican Republic and Jamaica. It is so good to hear from you. I'll be going through those comments throughout the day. I hope you're well. Be safe. Have a good day ahead.